guys, the Hobbies and Gadgets. Um, so I had a few messages. David, you're one of them. Brett. And um, I'll show you the best way I can to get this E10 off. But you've got to realise, E10 can mean a lot of different things, yeah? So my experience is what I'm going to tell you now. So obviously, these are the instructions you got with the actual device. And it only goes to E1 to E8. So obviously, my E10, when I had my issue, was my fuel line was blocked. And then, it was my fault, I had the exhaust pointing up. As I said, that was another blockage. And when I, you know, solved those issues, my diesel heater was running sweet. So, the actual unit itself, obviously this is where the hot air comes out. The back of the item is where it draws the um, air in as well. Um, you have to have, a, I think it's about one meter um, clearance. Because I had my board, one of these boards next to it. And it actually shut down my diesel heater. And obviously when I moved the board, um, it was right, it ran sweet. But yeah, things like that can switch off your item as well. But it never gave me an error code. But you never know, it can give you that error code because it'll stop the unit from working and then the pumps and stuff won't work. So then, you know, you have an E10. As you can see there, mine's running sweet. Okay, people. So, I'm in the dark, as you can see. I'm using a light here so you can actually see what the diesel pump is actually doing. So, if I record without the light, you can't really see it. So look, can you see my fuel pump sucking the fuel down? That's one indication that your pump's the right way. And if you look at the pipeline, you can see it's running through to the diesel heater. Right, E10, usually it's a fuel blockage. So you have to make sure your tank is gravity fed to your filter. See, I've got a little bend in it, but if you can stop the bend, it's better to use less um, fuel cable than, you know, to have kinks and stuff like that. Because if you have a kink, you have the same issue. Some of these pumps, you can clean out. I cleaned mine because I had E10, and when I um, undone this bolt up here, it had all black bits in the grit, um, in the filter. And um, every pump is different, obviously. You know, some of them don't open. Um, I haven't had any, no experience with them, so I don't know how to clean them. So you have to, you know, have research to see how to clean them once. But it's pretty simple. So my filter is gravity fed to my pump, so there's no strain on my pump. And it goes straight down under the van, back up to the unit. And I've used less cable as possible. That's one of the keys as well. So now you can hear my diesel heat is dying down now. It's got up to the temperature. So... What else can it be? Your exhaust pipe, guys. Um, if your exhaust pipe's got a U-bend, it can cause um, like a flood. So basically what it's doing is collecting um, the condensation and diesel, and it's going back up to the unit. And that will give you an E10 as well. Another E10, and I think it's an E8 as well, is your fan. Um, these bits here get really, really, really tight. So you have, if this is not spinning, you can cut two other codes. I think it's E8 and E10. So you can undo this like so and um, make sure that is spinning. Don't put your finger in there though. Just make sure that's spinning. If it's not, just lift up the red casing and screw this on not too tight. Just like that. And some pumps have an arrow pointing down. Um, I'm not sure about the ones with, with, without the nuts, but this one here, it's got an arrow in, on the actual pump itself and it's pointing down, so it's directed to the diesel heater. Let me see if I still got a leak here, because I, I can see I've changed the um, clips on mine. Just get bear with me. Just see if this is still leaking. Nah, it's not leaking. That's cool. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go back into the van now and I'm gonna um, tell you a few more tips. And this is another tip guys, your fuel line, what comes off your pump, make sure it's got a separate hole outside the van and then back up to the unit. Don't swash it with your template and make sure it's easy to bring in and out the pipe. So example, I've got a nine mil hole here, it's 
you know, it's nice and loose, it's not pinching, put this bit over so, like so, and I've got a lovely clearance, as I said earlier. So yeah, make sure you do that, and you'll have no issue. Cool. E10 is fuel blockage. Just make sure your tubes are not blocked, they're not kinked. For me, my opinion is use less fuel pipe as possible. Um, I know some instructions says use 1.5 and 2 meters and stuff like that, but my system, I ran everything short, prime in mine, and because I had the cables uh, you know, long at first, stuff like that, it can take a few times to prime it, you know what I mean? It depends on the pump, to be honest. And make sure you've got a full battery. Obviously, they don't give you E10, that gives you, I think, E3, I can't remember now. Your exhaust don't have a U-bend, it can have an L-bend, but it's got to, you know, it's got to make sure you get condensation and the diesel go out of the pipe. If not, that will give you an E10. And make sure your pump's the right way around. And make sure everything's gravity fed. Then your E10 problem should be solved. So hopefully this video helps you guys. So now hope you engaged in signing out. Peace.